Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm so excited to bring you a gino haul. Uh, so it was February, which is my birthday, plus it's Valentine's Day. So I got perfumes for all of those things. Uh, plus, uh, Lori had some hand-me-down perfumes that she gave me, which I was so excited to get. Plus, I had a wonderful subscriber just send me a huge box of samples, so I wanted to show you some of it. And yeah, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the crazy crew. Yeah, I don't know why I always do this. It's like... I think part of me is I'm partial fairy. Like, I, I think that's part of it. So, you know, I, I wish that when I did this, um, little sparkles would fly, but they don't, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So first, one of my wonderful subscribers uh, here in Canada sent me a care package of just a, a, a crazy amount of perfume oils, their samples. She sent a beautiful card. I'm not going to mention her name because I didn't get permission, but uh, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, I, I just, uh, I was overwhelmed by your uh, thoughtfulness. So uh, tons of perfume samples that I'm going to be going through uh, as time goes on. Uh, but also she sent me a couple perfume oils from the Oil Perfumery, which is a Canadian uh, perfume kind of dupe house. So this one is for ASAC, which I'm not sure what that is. So it, it'll be just a matter of trying them out. It smells nice to start with. And this one is Sukar, uh, and it's an impression of Anfastic Dakun. So I, I've never heard of those. So, ooh, like that one. So those are the perf perfume oil. She sent me a couple from uh, generic perfumes. So there's one that's the uh, a dupe for DKNY Stories 2018 for women. And then another one that is called Shooting Stars Le Capital. Uh, she also sent me a couple from Dapper Perfumes, which I'm excited to try out as well. So there's those. Um, there's one from the Arabian Collection Al, or Al Intazar. And this is from zoharoma.com so this is a perfume a concentrated perfume oil as well mm, that one i like a lot so i can't wait to to try that one out and then two um these are from fragrantbodyoils.com uh, one is called Africa for Women, and the other one is Gold Sugar Aquilina. The nice thing about oils is that they tend to last on your skin, so you can also use them for layering. Ooh, that one smells good. So uh, I have all of those to test out. I'm just going to show you them today because it would take too long to actually go through all of them. Uh, then she sent me this Zara Water Lily Tea Dress uh, Roller Ball. So that's like this. Yeah, that just smells nice, fresh and clean, kind of florally. And then this one is called Salvador Dali uh, Laguna. So I've never heard of this company at all. And I sprayed it in here. So it just smells kind of citrusy and fresh. So anyway, two of these. So moving on, I'm going to do my travel sprays that I got. And these are all from Lori. So the first one is Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. Uh, this one... I really like it. Um, it just smells fresh and clean. It smells a little bit like pencil sharpeners, uh, but it's it's quite nice. It's just nice and clean on the skin, so I'm excited to try that one out. Okay, let's just stop there. I'm super excited. I'm excited to try all of these out. Let's get that out of the way. So the next one is Idole Parfum by Lancôme, and. I really like this one. I can't wait to try it on. It smells like white florals, bit of vanilla. It smells really pretty. Um, it smells clean as well. So this one I think will be great for spring, summer. And she also gave me two little uh, sprays from Atelier Cologne. These are like five mil sprays. The one is Vanille Encense. And 
this is just a nice vanilla scent uh, with incense, obviously. And then this one is Love Osmanthus. And this one, it smells uh, like, I can definitely smell the Osmanthus. So it's a bit grape, or it's a bit, a little bit apricot-y, peachy. Uh, but to me, this is a heavy dose of grapefruit as well. So anyway, this one's nice. It's quite fresh. This one's quite sweet. So this is a bottle of Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One. So it, the bottle broke, so she put it into this container, but it is the only one. So um, this one is beautiful. It's a uh, very caramelly, a um, lot of vanilla. There's coffee in this, uh, some floral. Uh, it's really pretty. It's quite gourmand. Um, I prefer The Only One Intense, but I also really love this one. Next one is La Vie Belle by Lancome. I was so excited to get this. Um, yeah, I just love it. It's really beautiful. It's juicy. It's sweet. It's a patchouli balm, uh, but I think it's beautiful. It's very feminine and it's a lovely one for spring. Uh, this one, this one is super popular, but I think it's, it's a, it's popular for a reason. <laughs> The next one she gave me was Serge Luton's Un Bois Vigny. Now this one is just a really pretty vanilla uh, with some woods in it. Um, I think that I may like Rogba better than this one. Uh, I like Spiritus du Bleu Vigny better than this one, but this one is to me a really nice vanilla. So I like it. I like the woody aspect in it as well. So yay! Next come my birthday and Valentine's Day uh, presents. I'm so happy. Okay, so I'll start with this one and it's Zara's Ebony Wood. Now this I bought myself. Um, I, I was not anticipating what I smell here. I'm just not a fan of this one. Uh, for a lot of people, this was their number one, and I haven't smelt any of them. You kind of have to blind buy, but I wasn't thrilled with it, and really, like it was $30 for this little guy. I'd rather just save my money and buy, buy the more designer perfumes. This one, uh, just, it's not doing it for me. Now, maybe it'll grow on me. It smells like woods. It goes a little bit sour on me. I'm just not thrilled with it. Uh, the performance is great on this and I can see guys liking this. I thought I would love it because some people said that it was like pomegranate noir. I love pomegranate noir. I don't love this one. So this is a, a pass for me. Now the next one is Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk. Now I've not really been a fan of the uh, Narciso Rodriguez line. Uh, except for this one. And I just think this one smells delicious. It smells very clean. It smells kind of soapy. It smells, it reminds me somehow of Velcro. So you know how Velcro is white and it's a little bit fuzzy and a little bit sticky. Somehow that's what this reminds me of. It's clean, it's, uh, it's non-offensive, but it's also classy. So I really, really appreciate this one. And I think I'll like this one as a layering. Uh, fragrance as well. So Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk. The next one I got for $20 on Kijiji and it's a little 30 ml bottle of Twilly d'Hermes. I think that this one is so pretty. This one has ginger, it's got pepper, it's got some floral in there. It's just kind of to me again a pretty spring fragrance. It's fresh, uh, it's bright, it's a little bit peppery because of the ginger and the pepper and I can't wait to wear this one for spring. And look at this cute bottle. Like, isn't that darling? Like, it's really quite darling. It's not really my style, like the bowler hat. <laughs> it's not really my style, but I just think it's pretty darn cute, especially the small one. The next one I got for Valentine's Day, and that is Floral Street's Wonderland Peony. I think that this is such a beautiful fragrance. This one's very girly, it's very sweet, it's got a lot of floral, but then it, it's paired with the cotton candy and a bit of vetiver, so there's a bit of depth to it. Love the cotton candy aspect. I think there's raspberry in this one as well. It's just perfect for spring. It's it's, it's uh, to me an innocent young woman that's wearing a beautiful pink uh, crinoline dress. 
in the 50s. That's what I get from this. Plus, I love the bottle. Look at that bottle. Like, it's so pretty. So I love this one. I'm so happy to have it. The next one is Elisab Le Parfum Royale. So this one, you know what, guys? I looked up, I asked you guys how to sound out Elisab. I got Ile, Ele, uh, I've heard Ely. I've looked it up, and most people say Elisab, even in the designer world. So I do not know, I don't, I still can't figure out for sure, like definitively, how to pronounce it. So until I do, I'm gonna use Elisab. <laughs> now this one is, I love this perfume. It's got mandarin orange that kind of stays there the whole entire time. It's got rose, there's patchouli. It smells like a jammy rose. It smells like a little bit of spice. It's a little bit sultry, a little bit like, like a gorgeous, long haired, long dark haired woman. She's wearing like, I don't know, like I think of, honestly, I think of the movie Aladdin. So those kind of, that kind of garb. Uh, and she's got this on and she's maybe got a tiger with her and she's a formidable woman. Anyway, um, that, that I, I just imagine her lounging in this beautiful, uh, garden with these long tendrils with uh, florals and maybe some kumquats or something. I don't know. I just get a whole vibe out of this one. But it smells super sexy but also very wearable. So I love this one. I smell that mandarin pretty much throughout wearing it. Uh, I like the mandarin rose combination. I think it smells really sweet and jammy. Really, really nice. And last but certainly not least, in fact, it's my favorite, is L'Entredi by Givenchy. Now this one, this one has pear and tuberose, my favorite combination. This one is so enjoyable to wear, I could pretty much wear this one all the time and never get sick of it. Maybe I would eventually, but oh, I love it. It smells, it just smells delectable. It smells almost gourmand, but I wouldn't consider it that. I think it's sexy, but you can wear it during the day. It's very uh, vibrant and beautiful, uh, but it also uh, but it also could be worn during the night uh, for sure. I like this one better than L'Entredi uh, Intense. So the Intense version comes in a black bottle. I'm not as crazy about it as this one. I think this one is just... This one is the bomb, in my opinion. I love it. I'm a huge pear and tuberose fan, especially these days, and this one is done absolutely right. Um, I'd like to smell this one. I've got a little sample of BDK Tuberose Imperial. I kind of want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two, because uh, this one is darn close, I think, but I, I would have to smell them side-by-side. So this is just gorgeous. Get your nose on this one. This is one of my favorite, definitely in my top five, for sure, right now. And that's it. We've gotten through it all. It was a crazy huge amount. I'm very excited, very excited uh, to be adding these to my collection. Tell me what your new perfumes are. Have you gotten any new ones lately? What are you absolutely loving? I would love to know. And other than that, have an amazing week. We'll talk to you soon.